About a year ago, I bought a the Flodo Italian leather bag, and I said at the end of that video that I would follow up on it. Well, it's been a year, and I'm just not following up on it. Um, someone actually emailed me and said, hey, you never followed up on this. Um, here's the bag. You can see it's still in really good shape. Um, I carry this probably three out of the seven days out of the week I'm carrying it. Um, one thing, if you watch the other videos, you'll notice that the, the strap is a different strap. The original strap broke. One of the, the things snapped off on it. Um, I called the company and they sent me the new strap. This is the new Deluxe strap that uh, replaces their old Deluxe strap. So this one is what, if you buy the Deluxe strap now, this is the one you get, the one that's fixed. Um, overall, it's still really held up well. Um, I get it wet. I mean, it's been out in the rain and everything. Um, one thing I do have to say, it's not a tech bag. It's not really a good bag for carrying a lot of laptops and stuff in it. Um, I do keep a Surface in there. Um, I keep a, a notepad in there pretty regularly. I put some other papers in there. It works really well for that. But, um, but if you wanted a laptop and you wanted like, like if I want to put my charger in there for that, it really doesn't fit well because there's not a lot of room. Um, I can I usually slide that sideways and tuck it down in, in next to it. That works pretty good. Um, pens and stuff, I've got a bag in here. Uh, but pens, it holds pens really well. Uh, business cards, I got problems with business cards because you can see it's not long enough. It's not deep enough to hold your cards, which why well, I have it, you know? I, I mean, literally neither one of those pockets are deep enough to hold your business cards. Uh, they stay in there okay, but you have to make sure you have plenty in there to kind of hold them in place. Um, so again, overall, it's a really nice bag. These pockets right here, they don't open wide enough. Like a charger is pretty good size. I keep my Surface mouse in there and a couple of, uh, of um, software CDs and, and some other miscellaneous stuff but it's not deep enough to really hold your chargers or if you had a bunch of uh, uh, cables and that kind of stuff, it holds some, but not a lot. So overall, would I buy this bag? Yes, if you just want to carry around a small laptop or a tablet, like a 13 inch, like uh, uh, the MacBook Air or something like a Surface or an iPad uh, and maybe one charger and then some papers. That's about all you can get in here. Um, if you're wanting to carry around more like the tech stuff, you really want to buy more of a tech bag. I think this company sold, uh, the briefcase.com sold tech bags that held a lot more cables and stuff. But overall, I enjoy it. It's a professional looking bag. Um, it's really good for business use. Um, you know, if you're a student and you get it for a graduation present like I did, works really good for that. But um, and again, tech bag, not so good. So I hope that answers any questions you might have had about the follow-up.